When working with a denim seam, you know, something that's really high, thick to sew over, the FOP sewing machines are truly a wonderful machine to go over those thick areas. But let me show you a couple tricks along the way that can make it even easier for you to use. So I am going to start with just a seam to put these two pieces of denim together. And yes, you are going to want to put a denim needle in. The bigger the number, the bigger the needle. And that's going to really help you get through those thick areas. But before we actually turn up this seam, to make the really thick denim area to go over, we're gonna cheat for just a second because the foot that you have, foot number three that comes with this machine, has a great top stitching feature. And I love to show my students this. So that little red marker is actually adjustable. And when you press your seam, I'm gonna just let all the seam allowance go over here to the left side. And I'm going to move the needle position a couple notches to the left. And when I lower the presser foot, I'm going to touch the foot down button once and then touch it again. So now it's actually loose and I can get it exactly where I want to go. Then when I do the top stitching, I can easily just spread this out. Pressing it would be ideal, but just for today, we can get a nice, beautiful top stitch. Now, I cannot sew straight without some type of guide, and this really gives it a fabulous, professional look. Look how perfect that is right along that fold. Next, let's go ahead and put that back. We'll push stitch number one and that will clear out those settings. Easiest way to do that. And let's just go back to a regular presser foot, the 0A as it recommends. Dual feed is engaged. Now usually when I do uh, something going over a lot thicker fabric, it's a good idea to lengthen the stitch length. Start at three, maybe go up to 3.5 to really get the best results here. So we're talking about going over uh, a turned up edge. So one time and two times. That means there's nine layers of fabric here. Now, tell you the truth, a lot of my students want to always stitch on the, this side of the hem. And you, you know what? You actually get a prettier stitch from the top. So if you actually get used to sewing from the top side, that's why they call it top stitching, you really can get a better looking stitch. So we've made the stitch longer, set the needle to stop in the down position, and then reach for your multi-purpose tool. Let me show you what this is all about. So yes, I could go up and over this, no problem, but there are days where you get something so thick that this foot gets hung up on its way up that mountain. With this tool, you will notice there is a thinner part and a thicker part. And with the thinner part for today, I'm gonna to just lift up the presser foot, but notice the needle will stay in the fabric holding my stitch. And I'm gonna just set it underneath the foot. So now when I start to sew, see how level that foot is as it's going now kind of on the plateau part of that seam? I don't know why I'm holding it. I always feel like I should, but if the machine is gonna just eat better pull that fabric through because the foot is giving it even pressure. It's not angled anymore. It is pushing down at a, a higher level, but it's still even. Now, so you don't get long stitches as you come off that thicker seam, take the same tool, put it in front of the foot and stitch into the opening. Now you will need to make sure you don't keep stitching because you can stitch through this. Um, Yes, the machine will go through that beautifully. Uh, and not, not good for your needle, but if you do have that issue, uh, definitely make sure you put a new needle in. Yeah, who would have thought that your machine will stitch through that solid piece of plastic? But look here, now you have nice even stitches, no matter if you're going over the, the thickest part or approaching it or coming off of it. And look how easy it is. So the trick was lengthening the stitch length. That one was at 3.5 and you saw how easy it just pulled it through. Using the multi-purpose tool to help you level the foot as you cross over those really thick areas and just let the machine do the work for you. So a denim seam, this machine will go through it with no problem whatsoever.